so guys uh, i'm just listening to the conversation from past many days now this person wants to become uh or he wants to go into a product based company right and after this this person basically says that okay you want to go into a product based company so start preparing for data science this is one of the example but still this guy says okay fine i am preparing for data science but is competitive programming algorithms data structures required to get into this product based companies so this is the person who is asking and this guy is saying that okay he's bit confused you know he's bit confused is not able to answer this particular question so considering this and there is also one more person who is in this discussion which is this guy is no way interested he just saying that i just want to pass out of the college and then we will see okay so this person is just like a person like how i used to be in the college i was just focusing on completing my engineering because i had no clue about anything when i was doing my engineering before going ahead with respect to this particular video this video has been sponsored by an academy so an academy has come up with this code chef programming scholarship test which is in collaboration with code chef here you will be able to enroll for the programming scholarship test which is completely for free and get a chance to earn a free subscription for a month so here these are the initiatives for the december month here you can see that it is completely for free so you can enroll this test for free you can attempt it live and you can also get a chance to earn free subscription apart from this guys on december 5th that is tomorrow between 2 pm to 3 pm you have this particular test on competitive programming the total number of questions will be 35 questions and there will not be any negative marking they have also made sure that this test is curated by top programmers it will help you to boost your skills with this online test prepared to help you sharpen your programming skills apart from this you'll also be getting a detailed analysis of the insights and the ranks that will help you to understand your rank among the community and you'll also be able to get scholarship if you are able to perform in the best possible manner right please do make sure that you share this with all your friends because this test are completely for free so you'll also be able to help them out this also this test also has unique test features you'll be able to experience the live test product of an academy and get live results plus instant ranks the test will be live online which is pretty much again amazing again and you'll also be getting the detailed performance report regarding your ranks your competitive stats and many more things so If you really want to know more about it make sure that you check out the link in the description all the information is given in the description of this particular video Now coming to the situation uh, recently and uh, let me start this particular video recently i was taking a live session uh, with respect to one of the data science class at that time what happened is that um, there were many college students who had actually joined that specific class and many people started asking questions competitive programming data structures and algorithms required for college students um because the main aim of them is basically to get into product based companies so because of this i'm going to make this specific video it will be very very helpful for you make sure that you watch this video till the end trust me it will be very very helpful now let's understand suppose if you want to construct a very tall building what is the main thing in that specific building you have to build the base strong right so uh, you'll be seeing that uh, nowadays many builders many many high five builders you know how do they build their building it's quite strong you know the basement is strong and everything is strong so considering this also if you want to get into data science if you want to get into any kind of even full stack developer you want to get into front end developer you want to get into back end developer you want to do anything you want to build any kind of applications you want to do anything as such your base should be strong now when i talk about the base over here right the base of programming right so whenever you are in the college and this question was really asked by many people you know specifically the college students who are just in that second year or third year 
Krish, uh, okay, we are preparing for data science, you know, okay, data science, but uh, do we need to know uh, data structures and algorithms and competitive programming and why, why should we know that, you know, even though, like, uh, and uh, there are also people who will be saying that, okay, uh, we have heard from some of the seniors, like, when they are going for data science interviews, probably they're not asking about data structures and algorithms. Yes, you're absolutely right. If you have some amount of experience and over there, if you're going for data science interview, at that specific point of time, then they're not asking data structures and algorithms or competitive programming. It's fine. Right. I, I also know that, you know, probably some of the companies like Amazon, Google may ask you regarding competitive programming, even though you're going for data science role. But trust me in this, guys, uh, that data science and competitive programming really plays a very important role if you are really want to become a coder. Right. If you really want to become a programmer. Right. And all these technologies that we are talking about, let it be data science, cloud engineers, right? Database administrator, probably database administrator will not be requiring that much programming. Most, they'll be mostly involved in uh, writing uh, uh, queries with respect to SQL or pro stored procedures and all. But in, even in Hadoop, if you're going for big data engineering, there also programming will be required since you do a lot of pre-processing. If you're going as a full stack developer, there also data structures and algorithms will require. If you are a JavaScript developer, uh, there also it will be required. So let it be in any domain, you know, programming is must nowadays, right? Programming will be required if you really want to get into this technical domain. And programming, see programming, they have different types of programmers also. There is a programmer who writes the code very neat, who, who writes the code in such a way that once you execute that particular code, it, ha it, it executes very, very quickly. And there are also programmers, you know, who will be who will be simply writing many number of for loops and making the program lengthier. You know, the reusability concept is not there. Like, let me take an example. Suppose I am a programmer who knows OOPS concepts, and there is another programmer who who does not know OOPS concept. And if he is trying to build an application completely from end to end, then what may happen? He may he may not use that reusable things, right? Like, how do we create classes in OOPS or inheritance concepts? He may not be knowing. And because of this, his code will be lengthier. His code will not be ne uh, neat in short, right? At that time, you'll be sending that particular code. And even in companies, even in product-based and service-based companies, you'll be seeing that, guys. There will be one, there'll be something called as peer-to-peer -peer reviews, right? Where the code written by a person will be sent for the review to, uh, either the senior will be looking at his particular code or his peer will be actually looking at his code and they will provide suggestions. Yes, please try to modify this particular code because this may probably take more amount of time to execute it, right? And now I just gave you an example of OOPS concept, but still there are a lot of things other than OOPS. How to write a code very efficiently so that it takes less amount of time. How to efficiently use data structures. Suppose, now, now let's imagine, right, guys, and still there are a lot of com confusion with respect to data structures, algorithms, and competitive programming. So I'll define over here. Uh, okay, let me just make you understand in the way of data science itself, right? Now, in data science also, we have data structures. Initially, we will be starting to learn data structures with Python. And in probably in every programming language, there are data structures. Some of the examples of data structures may be, if I take an example of data science itself, right? The data structures may be a tuple, set, dictionary, list, arrays, data frames, series, you know, and there are many, many more things like this. These all are data structures. Similarly, you will be having, suppose you are doing C++ programming, you'll be creating arrays, you'll be creating different types of uh, linked list, you'll be creating different, different data structures in short, right? Uh, like um, queues, uh, sets, and all. They're, they're performing, they're doing some kind of operation. Like if I take an example of um, lists, lists, okay? So list is nothing but it is a collection of elements. It, it can store various collection of elements inside that, right? If I take an example of what is the um, importance of dictionaries, they actually try to store in the form of key value pairs, right? You'll be able to access that val particular value with the help of the keys, right? Now these are the data structures. These are the minute thing which will be doing some kind of functionality, right? Now let's go towards one step. We basically said data structures and algorithms, right? We said data structures and algorithms. So you have understood about the data structures. Now, what is about the algorithms? Now, algorithms are some kind of problem statements, you know, this, some kind of problem statements. Let me just take one some example, like quick sort, like uh, bubble sort. Sorting is one kind of problem statement, right? One, one kind of problem statement. And for that particular sorting, for different, different kind of sortings, an algorithm is basically uh, developed, you know? They basically write that specific code to solve that particular problem and how that particular code is written, 
and which we say that that code is the efficient one if the time complexity is less to execute that particular program and the space com complexity is less for to execute that specific program and for doing this we definitely have to use the data structures over there right we have to use the data structures in order to solve that specific problem right so this is very much important for you all to understand that what is the exact difference between data structures algorithms we basically say data structures and algorithms and again people gets confused with respect to that data structures is the initial things that we learn right let be tuple dictionaries sets linked list list right arrays data frames series and there's so many things and they do some kind of functionality when you're combining them and you're solving some uh, specific uh, you know predefined problem statement like sorting like binary search like heap sort with different type of sorting algorithms traveling salesman problem you know i hope everybody knows about traveling salesman problem you have to come from point a to point b in the shortest possible manner right so this is some kind of problem statements and for this kind of problem statement some algorithm is basically developed and they have also tested that which is which kind of code basically perform well right one more example is more sort right and so many sortings algorithm is there so many things are there and probably you cannot just be perfect with all of those right you probably have and even even in higher exams like gates gate isro right they ask you that in that specific questions you know so this type of sorting algorithm what is the time complexity so this is basically about algorithms right this is basically about algorithms now where do you come with competitive programming which was still there is something called as competitive programming and you really need to understand about competitive programming also okay i'll tell you very good good things about competitive programming now now what is competitive programming competitive programming is basically a problem statement a problem statement where you'll try to divide that into chunks of problem statements itself sub problem statements i'll say and you'll try to solve that with the help of data structures and algorithms and this is the real test that is done in any product based companies any product based companies and trust me guys i will say it i'll definitely say it because data structures algorithm if you have in your resume about data structures algorithms and competitive programming you will definitely be able to get jobs anywhere okay there will be requirements you will be able to get into any product based companies also let it be the amazon let it be google let it be any top product based companies in india or in foreign right you will be able to get it you will be able to get it because every company has requirements because if i'm specifically talking about product based companies that is where uh, most of the stuffs like this will be used like competitive programming will be used so if i have also seen right i went for a data science interview probably sorry not me my friend went for a data science interview in amazon the first round that was asked was with respect to competitive programming right i went for a product based company which is a very top product based company uh, three years back right over there i think the company name is intuit uh, i guess uh, yeah the company name is intuit the first round that was asked was competitive programming right even though i had data science knowledge with respect to that competitive programming data structures algorithm they gave a simple problem statement let it be with respect to that simple problem statement and the main aim is to understand how you will be solving that particular problem that basically means if you practice that in your college days if you make your base strong that you will definitely be able to clear that particular problem statement at least 80% 90% they'll also not be looking that you will be doing the complete problem statement but at least towards the right direction they'll see that how you're performing and if you are able to do it around 70 to 80% i think you will be able to do it this is the most important thing about and uh, as i say that guys you all have a habit right we all have a habit and for college students you have to keep this particular habit uh, probably you go get up every day you do some exercise you go to college you come back you play some games and you come and have your dinner and then sleep right so this is the normal routine that we follow make this routine in your college days guys try to at least spend one hour with data structures algorithms and competitive programming and i'll also say one more thing that is aptitude just focus on this four things okay keep it as a hobby you know at least whenever you get free time practice this for one hour i'm also planning to create a road map for uh, competitive programming with all the topics that you should learn and uh, the resources from where you can actually learn so just keep this as a habit guys every 
day at least one hour on data structures and algorithms and competitive programming try to work on that this is very very important this is a suggestion that i want to give for every college student because after college you will be having many options let me tell one more thing i also tried to play with my resume three years back i put data science concepts in that i put data science related thing i've also put competitive programming data structures related thing trust me out of both this the maximum number of calls were coming with respect to data structures and algorithms and at that specific point of time i attended that interview in intuit right so uh just understand this is important for every man make a habit to learn competitive programming data structures and algorithm at least one hour daily right so this will be my suggestion from my side guys and yes in my upcoming videos i'll be creating the roadmap of the competitive programming and other things so that uh, it will help many people many freshers because again my main final aim is that you should be at least be able to get jobs as soon as you pass out of a college it may be with respect to data science or it may be with respect to any kind of works related to competitive programming or any other thing the first thing is that get that job get that experience and then you decide by yourself where you really want to go yes uh, now the question rises which this guy was basically asking you know whether data scientists will be requiring uh, competitive programming and all i'll say guys every coder will require competitive programming to build some amazing logics okay so yes uh, this was all from my side i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye